Man, from your scalp to your feet, I need the question when you speak. Let me ask you some. As men, is is chivalry, chivalry really dead? I don't think it's dead, but I do think it depends on the person and, and what they're willing to put into it. It, it takes energy uh, to to actually be conscious of if you're going to do something special or nice for a person. So I think every day we have to choose, you know, are we going to open our door for our lady and and I fail daily at it being married 21 years, but I still try to do little special little things like that. You know, when I can remember, shout out to my wife. She's listening right now too. Shout out to my wife, Kara and my son, Jamal. Yes, too. Yes. Yeah, yes. I, 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 would, I would have to say that I wouldn't call it dead, but I think it also needed redefinition mm. because part of some of the error with chivalry was feeling like you need to do certain things that maybe aren't necessary. I think the most important thing is being able to communicate effectively and your job as a man is to be able to understand and perceive the situation and fill the gaps where necessary. You know what I mean? Not not just do A, B, and C, but because you know, because some ladies need different things. Some wet girls might not want you to open this or do that. Yeah. It can their historic background or the trauma attached to their life. When you do something like that, it could be more so like demeaning as opposed to helpful. You know what I'm saying? So it's really just about understanding what your partner needs and then trying to fill that gap and be that exact role. You know what I mean? If it's more activity if it's less activity if it's more conversation if it's less conversation it's really just about you know what i mean finding that balance you know what i mean because that's the key because i feel like sometimes it's not necessarily just opening the door or you know what i mean because attached to chivalry comes also these like old school socialized norms like who does the dishes and who takes the trash out and who does these things mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. for the most part i think most burnt. of us follow yeah. a similar guideline you know what i mean but there is room for interpretation within those you know what i mean it's all yeah. about your household it's all about how you how it worked for you not all it, not not all women work the same is basically the point that i'm getting at mm -hmm. like just because you, you could just because you open a door doesn't necessarily make you a gentleman to one lady as it might to another lady you know what i mean you giving a compliment can mean something to someone that it doesn't mean to someone else you know what i'm saying so I mean, I'm actually more of this. Uh, I just, I'm more chivalrous just toward my fellow person. So either women and men, I'll open doors, I'll, uh, you know, get, give them the right away, you know. The reality is women are making more money than dudes these days as mm -hmm. well. And yeah. that just didn't happen back then. The, the, the whole concept of chivalry was you're a man, you have more opportunities, you could do more, you could work in this time period, this era, because women weren't being given equal opportunities or degrees in all different type of levels. So chivalry was that being a gentleman would be to go above and beyond for someone else who was quote unquote misfortunate or in a position that was lower than yours. That's how the standard was. So sh chivalry died in that essence of the balance of life. That's why my, my answer was my answer. You got to figure out who you're dealing with, man. You gotta know who you're dealing with, and, and I feel, and I feel like a lot of women. I feel like a lot of women. They they either come from a, a um a family where I just feel like a lot of women are guided either one way, where it's like you're gonna go out and get it, and and if this gets in your way, you knock it down, or you're gonna be guided in a sense that like, well, you're gonna find the right man that's gonna take care of you in this way because that's the era we come from, and that's what we're gonna see. Get but to you. even 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 that framework, that verbiage. Not all women want to find a man to take care of them. That's they were, like but that's what I'm saying. They're guided and coached and were raised that way. No, but there's a majority that is not. That's that's actually not what's happening.